think you can cook potato in this heat. It's a very long way. They should have put all the prisoners in the Isle of Wight. It would have been a lot easier for us, wouldn't it? I mean, this is so over the top. It must have taken forever. They must have really not wanted them to come back. <laughs> they can't lift it up too much because it is actually heavier than the plane. I'm surprised they let me bring it on. It's only because they didn't weigh it. excess. I mean, look at it. asked me how I came by this guitar. What happened is I was uh, by the river in Brisbane and a voice called to me. This guitar emerged from the water and I grasped it. And it's called Excalibur and only one man can tame her. And it definitely did not come from cash converters. Good enough, but that is just a coincidence. This emerged from the lake. This is a meat ant. Orgathella has 395 people and a swimming pool. Should we let Hunter out of the boat? If he <laughs> promises not to be annoyed anymore. Oh, I don't know where to start with this. Um, uh, I, 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 I'm very surprised and um, shocked and, and saddened, if I'm honest. Uh, I, I'm aware he's had some issues in the past. Um, I don't really know what's appropriate to say and what isn't. Um, but yeah, I, I know he's had a couple of issues in the past, yeah. Uh, de definitely affecting this cricket, yeah. And uh, no, I, th I, I don't think it's. I, I can't give you an easy answer. I think that the way he batted is a reflection of the problem, uh, not the problem. Does that make sense? So I think he batted like that because he was in turmoil. Um, it's not the first time it's happened, uh, but obviously this time it's uh, it's a bit worse than any time before, and he and he didn't feel he could cope with it, so he's made this decision to go home. So talk to me about Trotty. Don't know what to say. Very uh, shocked and saddened. You had no inkling it was going to happen? No, I didn't. I'd love to tell you I did and pretend to be clever, but uh, I think we both know better. No, no, I had no idea. Look, I could tell that something wasn't right uh, from the way he batted in the second innings. But I mean, yeah, do you mean, but I mean, most people could tell there was something not right. Yeah, of course they could. Yeah. Um, uh, but I thought that, you know, I've, I've seen him bat a hell of a lot. And I always thought that I could tell when he was going to get runs or not. Not so much last summer, actually, because he looked in pretty good form, particularly at the start of it, and then got himself out. Mm. But you can certainly tell when he's not going to, when he looks rattled from the off. And there was an innings, I think it might be that, was it Old Trafford? He had a poor innings there, I think, uh, where he never settled. Um, but right now I'm told he's, uh, he's at home and he's doing well, and... Um, and they sound much more bullish that he can be back better than ever. I think he really needed this break. I don't know the details. I honestly don't. Uh, but I think that he is worn down by uh, continuous big games, uh, big series, pressure situations. Uh, and it makes you wonder a little bit about some of the others. I thought Alistair Cook looked exhausted a couple of times, once at the end of the summer and once after the game the other day. And you think of everything that he's taken on, all the times he's bailed out England and stuff. Um, and you just worry, wonder and worry a little bit. He's 28, I think, isn't he? Uh, whether someone like that could burn out. It's also like, but I mean, you look at the other side, you've got someone like Mitchell Johnson, who's by his own admission was talking about seeing psychologists because of fan taunts. At one stage, he left cricket altogether, um, and yet, yet he's come back and been so strong that he's been involved with Trotty. You know, I mean, how much he had to do with the final decision, well, we don't know. But if he hadn't have been there at Trotty, makes seventy, he might not have left. Yeah, as a catalyst. Yeah. It, so it's interesting the way it sort of flips around from Mitchell Johnson being the men, you know, the one that everyone's worried about, to um, Trot being that that one. And so what Trot comes back one day and breaks a ball or somewhere else. You know what I mean? It's it's a weird. It's a yeah. weird thing. I swear that was a gutter. Oh my god.
do I look like a kangaroo? I know I look, you know, magnificent in this habitat. I know I'm naturally athletic and prosper in this harsh land, but I'm actually not a kangaroo.